So I found this organ sound that I really like. It responds beautifully to the seaboard, and I think it's gonna be perfect for my song. But there's a little issue when I play the line that I wanna play. Let's check it out. Did you hear at the end there how the lower note glided up along with the upper note? That's not really what I want. I want that lower note to stay on the same pitch, on that E, while I kind of glide into an E at the upper, upper voice. Now, I've started this, uh, this project in single channel mode, which I think is a great way to start when working with a third party synthesizer because we know that it'll just work. But when we're in single channel mode, we don't have independent pitch bend with the various notes. And so now we're gonna set this up a little differently. And this, this, this method will work with pretty much all devices and in a lot of DAWs. And so what's gonna happen is I play two notes at the same time, the Rolly C board will generate those notes on two separate MIDI channels, and those MIDI channels will be routed to two separate tracks in the DAW, each with the same exact monophonic synthesizer. So the first thing we have to do is go to the dashboard and set it to multi-channel mode. And then we're gonna have MPE off, which is a really good setting for this kind of approach. When we're using a synthesizer designed for MPE, we wanna turn it on. Or when using this multi-channel method, the MPE off is gonna be best for us. And then we wanna carefully choose our channel range. And you know, our best bet is to use only the amount of polyphony that's really, really required for the song. If you add more synthesizers, you add more tracks, you're increasing the CPU load and also the complexity when editing. And so I would say this line is only two voices, let's use two voices of polyphony, which means I'm gonna set a channel range of channel one and channel two. Now I'm gonna go into Ableton Live and configure the routing there. Like we said, we really want two tracks, each responding to a different MIDI channel. And so I'll go to my organ track here and I'll duplicate it. The command D key command in Ableton is great for that. And we wanna configure the inputs so that they each respond to an individual MIDI channel. I'll go to my first track, I'll set its input to be the Rolly Seaboard Rise and its channel to be channel one. I'll go to my second track, set its input similarly to the Rolly Seaboard Rise, but then input channel two. If I record enable both these, we should now have independent pitch bend on the two different notes. Let's try it out. That's pretty cool. And we also had that slide dimension doing a kind of FM on that sound, which was great. And so let's hear this in the context of a song and also notice at the end of this section, we're gonna have this really tense moment. We get these really cool glides and call these kind of out of tune characteristics that are really fun. Let's try it out. Right, so there's a couple things with this kind of setup I'd like to point out. The first one is you're gonna have to record enable multiple tracks and kind of pay attention to that as you're going. And many DAWs like Ableton have settings where it might only allow you to record enable one track at a time, but those are, it's often a preference you can change. So if I go into the preferences, I can look for the record warp launch preferences in Ableton Live, and there's an exclusive arm button. And I would turn that off if you're working in this method so that you can record enable multiple tracks simultaneously. Other thing you might wanna do, which is really handy here, is group the tracks so they're functioning as a single submix. That's gonna make it easier to change the volume of this group of tracks simultaneously. If I select both tracks, and I'll use shift click on the second one, and then group them, then I control the overall volume with a single fader, and I can also process there too. So I can put my effects, my compressors, my limiters, and that sort of thing on the group so you get that kind of processed as a group feel, which is often better than processing the individual tracks. But there's benefits to both options. <laughs> 